Oh, the paper is about um, the active site of an enzyme called uh, catalase. It's a very important enzyme in the body. It scavenges hydrogen peroxide. Our engines in our bodies are in a compartment in the cell called the mitochondria. That's how we break down our food. Using oxygen, we generate radicals. One of the precursors of these radicals is hydrogen peroxide. Therefore, if we don't scavenge them, then they attack the proteins and the amino acids in our body or the DNA. And basically, you know, that's just what causes diseases like cancer and old age. There's a good example, actually, with gray hair, our, our peroxide. It's one of the reasons we go gray as we get older is because we're getting too much hydrogen peroxide produced. And that's because this enzyme catalase. Catalase can take up the hydrogen peroxide but as we get older, it doesn't work as well. As we all respire, we use oxygen to break down our food. That generates a lot of free radicals. And as we get older, you get leakage of hydrogen peroxide and you get leakage of these free radicals. And these tests have been shown on, on mice, uh, not as humans. But if we can mop up these free radicals, then we can uh, extend you and we can make people look younger for longer. The oxygen evolving complex or photosystem 2 splits water, uh, oxidizes it. And this is a key process in nature and basically it helps underpin life on Earth. But there's real mysteries over how the chemistry actually occurs in this system. And some of my colleagues have been getting really close to cracking this problem by probing this issue computationally. but it's really hard to probe these metals and understand what it is that they're actually doing. Uh, but one technique that people can use to probe these ions with is electron power magnetic resonance spectroscopy. And this looks at metal ions with unpaired electrons. And on the basis of some studies, there have been some proposals put forward about what the oxidation states of these manganese ions are my colleagues have computed that the result that we think is correct is actually the opposite of what is being proposed by exponent. Free radicals react very quickly. So sometimes you basically can't look at it. It, it um, lives too shortly to be looked at experimentally. This is where computational work can be very powerful. Chemistry ultimately is very mathematical in nature. So you can do a lot of complex chemistry on, on a computer. Computational work is a good way of underpinning a lot of the science that is done now. A computational study gives you atomistic insight, it allows you insight into how the structure uh, actually behaves and how it actually operates. You can model all the different options and then compare the answers you get from those calculations with your experimentally observed spectroscopic data. And what you generally find is that only one solution will fit all of the things that you've observed. They've studied this manganese catalase system because it's viewed as an evolutionary progression from photosystem two, but there's only two manganese ions in this system, and so it's much easier to study computationally speaking. And that's really important to understand because the oxidation state of the ion will determine its reactivity and therefore which manganese ion certain reactions are occurring at. And only when you understand that can you unravel the mechanism and then truly understand how these systems operate. This is a chemical reaction which underpins life on Earth and therefore if we can better understand it, we better understand the world around us and we might be able to use this in other challenges. Thank you.